Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm not a makeup artist so this is what I do but I don't do all this every day. They're just when I feel like doing it because obviously I've got three kids. If you hear any noise it's just because the kids are down the stairs in the living room and they might come up and down. And I'm not really sure about editing yet so this video might take longer than uh, like I expected it to be. So... This is what I do, like, not every day, like I said, but what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to, I've just had the shower and I've just moisturised and done, like, my face routine. But I'm a little bit of, like, sunburn here, so it's a bit, like, I put moisturiser and stuff on it. But it's fine, like, we'll just get started. So today, the foundation I'm going to use is... Ramiel, Ramiel, London, Wake Me Up Foundation, Skin Brightening with Vitamin C and has SPF 15 in it, Natural Beige. Sometimes this is a little bit dark for me when I've not got a fake tan on so I have to mix it with a lighter foundation. I sometimes use the NC13 Studio Fix by MAC in the shade NC13. That's really light. Like, this is for when, like, it's winter and, like, you don't have a tan and it's just, like, to cover up some blemishes because it's so light. It doesn't even look like I've got foundation on. But sometimes I mix both of these together if this one's just too dark. But we'll see today because I'm not sure if that'll be too dark or not. So I'm just going to get my foundation brush and put a little bit of this on my hand and then go over my face. like that. My hands look really pale but they're not. I think it's just the light in the background, like my ring light. I'm looking down here at the mirror so I'm sorry if you don't think I'm looking at the camera. I think I'm going to need a little bit more of this. Because as you can see, like, there's still bits that I'm not done. <laughs> And obviously, like, I go under my eyes and stuff with a concealer. So I might look a bit scary. Like, they look a bit white just now and a little bit dumb in it just to blend in. I normally put a little bit bronzer there anyway. Because my, my fake tan normally comes off my face the most. Like, comes off my face first than anywhere else. As you can see, I've still got a spot, but I'll go over that with concealer. Right, it gives you just a little bit of a glow. But I like that. Some people don't, but you could also go over it with powder to make it a little bit matte. I do that sometimes just under my eyes and the bits that I tend to sweat more, like come off first. So this is my foundation. One second. This is my foundation once I'm done. So now I'm going to go in with a concealer under my eyes and on the bits that I think sealed the most. And this is the concealer I've been using. I think it's Bordeaux Paris Healthy Mix Anti Fatigue Anti Cernus. I'm not sure how you say that, but this is one I've been using. I got this one from Superdrug, and it's in the shade Golden Beige Fifty Four. So I'm going to put that on the bits that I think need more covered, like this bit here. 
like you could see there's a lot of bit of spots there and like around here and stuff. As I said, I'm not a makeup artist. This is just what I do. So there, there's probably things that aren't even doing right. <laughs> this is just what I think works best for me. But as you can tell, I got a lot of product from just one dip from that. But obviously, like, I'm going to put a little bit more here where I'm breaking out. And then I'll just blend that in with my foundation brush. That's the wrong brush. <laughs> I was using a beauty blender, but I felt as if the beauty blender was soaking in the product more. Like, I prefer to use a brush, but I do know that a lot of people like the beauty blender better, but I don't really like beauty blenders that much. I prefer this brush the best. But I think everybody's different, I suppose, like... And then I'm going to get a smaller brush that I normally use, like, to go around my eye. This one, just because it's smaller and it's easier to... So this is what it looks like after I blended it all out. You could put a little bit more on, but I, I don't really like to feel like my face is like packed in makeup. I prefer light like, coverage because I don't really get like a lot of breakout. So I don't like to put a lot of makeup on. Like I would put, I, I do put a lot of makeup on if I'm going on a night out, but not every day, especially when it's hot. Like, so it just makes you feel really sticky and I don't like that feeling. So that's my foundation and my concealer all done. That's what I normally do, like not every day. And then the next thing, like I don't really have a routine on which order I do it. Like I'm not sure if I should do my eyes first or my cheeks. I'll probably do my eyes first. So if it falls out, then I could just go back in and do it, like tidy up. So the eyeshadow palette today I'm going to be using is the Profusion Cosmetic Mattes eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to go for like a casual smoky eye because <laughs> um, I'm not really doing much today just going for shopping and going in the town and stuff but I've never used this one. I've used the other one that I showed in my previous video so this will be the first time I've used this one. Like it's got some neutral shades that I'm going to be trying out today. I don't know if you can hear my son shouting in the background, shouting on his sister. <laughs> so I'm not sure what shade to go on with. I might go on with this like light creamy shade called Doll. And like just go all over the lid bit here. Or I can go in with Heavenly. I'll just stick with this one here, Doll. This one's the one I was going to do heavenly. Not much, that one's just slightly lighter. So I'll go with Doll. Just tap that access stuff off the brush. I always do both eyes like with the same colour because then I always forget and then it never turns out right. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the next eye. Yeah, he's sitting on his big sister. She's down the stairs in the living room. I think oh, she's not listening, he just keeps shouting constant the same name. Now he's shouting on mummy. Mommy. 
So now I'm going to go on with like a darker colour and the next colour I'm going to use is hmm, Proud, this colour here. And now I'm going to just go into this crease bit here. And the outer way here. And just blend that out. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the next eye the same. I don't like, I put my heart out to people who do one eye and then go into the next eye. I don't know how you manage it because I always forget and then one eye always looks like Stupid compared to the other one, like I've over blended and then. Sorry about that. I <laughs> had to go and check on my son as he's always wanting his. <laughs> right, where were we? We were. I was doing proud all over my eyelids, so I'll get back to this eye with the colour proud. No doubt you'll be back up in five minutes. So this is what it looks like. And then I'll go in with a darker colour on the outer edge. Just to darken up a bit, like break up the colour. And I'm going to go in with this red colour called Madly. It's not really picking up much red on the phone. And I'm going to go on the outer lid here. And I'll just tap the end like pack it to make it like a bit brighter. As you can see, it's getting a bit red here compared to this eye. Just blend it in a little bit. As I said, this is probably the wrong way to put eyeshadow on, but this is just how I do it. Like, I'm not very good at makeup, it's just, um, Recently, since people have been buying me eyeshadow palettes for Christmas and my birthday and stuff, that I've recently started to wear eyeshadow because I never used to wear eyeshadow at all. Like, even putting eyeliner, eyeliner on, it used to go really bad. Like, I'd have one eye perfect and then the next eye look, couldn't get them to be the same at all. Like, <laughs> now I'm going to do the same to the next eye. And I'll tidy up with my contour, my contour, my concealer <laughs> once I'm done, like around the out of the edge to make it look neater. I'm all over the place with my words lately. I think it's because the kids have been off.
I'll probably like pulling stupid faces at the camera. <laughs> And then I'm, I don't know if I should go in with a shimmer colour, like, of see how it's all the way done here. Sometimes I put eyeshadow a long bottom, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today. But see how it's a bit thingy here? I'm going to put concealer and tidy it up a bit so it looks neater. But I'm not sure if I should put, like, a glitter colour in this bit here or just leave it like that because I'm not really doing much. Hmm. I might go in with a little bit, like a bronzy gold colour. Yeah, I might do that actually. I might just use my finger. So I'm going to use Tammy's Revolution palette. I got this, I think was it La just Christmas there, I got that for my Christmas and I've not really used much of it but I tend to pick this up the most out of all my eyeshadow palettes but I'm going to go in with hmm. this champagne colour like in this bit here don't know if you could see that it's very, this is it here. I'm going to put this on. I'll just try it with my finger. On inside bit. This video is going to take longer than expected. Sorry about that. I had to get my son. He's sitting on the bed behind us. So if you hear any noise, it's my son. But that's the reality, is it, of having three kids. <laughs> so that's me. Put that in the inner corner of my eye. I'm just going to tidy up the outer line. And then I might put a lighter colour under my eye here. But I think that looks all right. <laughs> and I'm going to tidy it up here. I don't know if it's just me, right, but every time I use an eyeshadow brush, I have to go and wash it because then when I go back to use eyeshadow and it's still got product on it, like, it really annoys me. Like, I have to wash it as soon as I've used it. So I'm going to put it here and tidy it up. And then I'm going to get my small brush that I used earlier on. I'm hoping that it doesn't rain and that it stays hot. It says today that it's meant to be hot all day. Yesterday it was like 30 degrees. I think it was 30 degrees. It was like 20 odd degrees. And that's been like the hottest it's been in like a couple of weeks here. So that's it. Do you see what I mean? Like how I can never get both eyes look the same. Like one's always seems higher than the other. Like, is that just me? <laughs> so that's what it looks like. I'm going to go back in and blend this one up a bit more because that one seems higher on the other side. So that's my eyes finished. Well, not completely finished. So now I'm going to go in with a lighter colour under my eye. And I'm going to go in with the colour... Oh, dropping everything. Um... Proud again. 
I'm just going to go under here and smoke it. Well, not smoke it out a bit, but like... I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but I have really long eyelashes. And like, but they seem to always like, I was using eyelash colours and then like ones would stay up, but they never seem to stay up like at all. Like, doesn't matter what I do, like, and I'm too scared to put false eyelashes on in case I rip my eyelashes off. I always seem to do it as tint them and then like with black, to keep them black, because my eyelashes are very blonde normally. So I have to tint them to make them look black so they'll look longer and then I normally put mascara on top but it doesn't seem to like like my eyelashes always fall down I was going to try to do an eyelash lift like I bought one off of Amazon at lockdown because people said to me oh if you get an eyelash lift you don't need to constantly wear mascara so I might do a video on that but as I say, it's like, <laughs> I'm no expert. <laughs> but I always seem to find that it's harder doing your own eyes than someone else to do it for you. But I've never been a one for like fake eyelashes because like I said, I'm too scared in case like I'm that unlucky person. And end up ripping my eyelashes off. Because <laughs> that would be me. So this is what it looks like once I've put it underneath my eyes. And I'm going to put some eyeliner on. If I could find my eyeliner. So this is the eyeliner I'm going to put my waterline. Oh no, here's my lipstick just fell. <laughs> and it is called Kiko Crayon 4. It's like a grey colour. And I'm going to put that in my waterline. Now just wait for the faces. <sighs> I'm going to sit this here. So this is what it looks like once I put it in my waterline. Mum. Yeah? Is that good? So this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to put some mascara on. I think it looks a lot better once you put eyeliner on, but maybe that's just me. I remember when I was at high school and I used to think it was so cool to put on the darkest eyeliner and honestly, I look back and I'm like, how dark did I put that? Like, what was I thinking? So now I'm going to put mascara on by W7 Big Lash Mascara. I'm not really fussed about mascara. Like, I buy Primark mascara, I buy... I just really go for anything that's on offer, like, to be fair, because my eyelashes are long anyway, so it doesn't really make much of a difference, yeah? What are you doing? Hey, it's my daughter. Uh, yeah, you're clever. So, um, it doesn't really matter, like, I just don't like when it starts to go, like, like, because some mascaras, like, start flaking, like, that gets on my nerves, like, when it starts getting in your eyes and... I even sometimes use, like, brum mascara, but I prefer black, like, to brum. Wow. And I'm not a fan of, like, waterproof mascara, so you're trying to get it off a makeup remover or... And then you've still got a wee bit of it on the next day, like, really hate waterproof mascara. Yeah? Are you talking? You're clever. You got the hiccups? <laughs> oh no, Cole's got hiccups. Haven't you? Yeah. So this is what it looks like with mascara on, without. 
like you can see how long my eyelashes are like with without like you can see the difference next eye and I also think like when I use eyelash curlers like my eyelash just gets stuck under here and like I can actually feel them like for a bit until they fall back down and it annoys me like so much because it like hangs off to here like So this is what it looks like with mascara on. So that's my eyes all done. Now I just need to put on some bronzer and highlighter in my lips and then... I don't always contour because I'm not really that good to be honest. Like I always make it look a bit cakey and muddy and I don't always put blusher on either like I'm not really a big thing for blusher I sometimes wear it but not all the time so this is oh no everything's a way to fall this is what I've been using lately to br like bronze things up a bit is the Esther Lauder I got this for my birthday in March and I never used it before it was the first time like I've ever had anything from that brand and I also got the foundation as well because I'm not really a big thing for big end makeup because like I said, like I've just started to get in at makeup, but I've recently been getting it off people for my birthday and Christmas because I can't justify like paying like thirty pound for a Mac lipstick unless I get money for my birthday or anything. Like I would rather spend my money on the kit than spend it on myself. Really, like I'm really bad that way. So people tend to buy me that things because the kids have too much. So this is what it looks like. Like, don't get me wrong, I love, like, matte makeup and that. Like, I'm not saying that I don't. Like, I think everybody does. But I just don't like buying myself anything. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Like, it's got highlighter in there too, so it's like, gives you that little glow. So I'm just going to get this big fan brush. And I'm just going to go in here and around here. Like that, and then a wee bit on my neck. Here we go. Mom. See, we've been blonde too. Mom. You've got to watch, like, getting it in your hair. What? Like, my sister-in-law, like, she's really good at, like, buying me good makeup. Like, she's very good at getting, like, her vouchers and deals and stuff. Like, very good at getting, like, sale stuff. Like, I don't know how she does it. Like, I get stuff from, like, car boot sale and stuff. Like, if it's, like, sealed. But with... Um, Cova and stuff like I've not really been like the car boot sales have just started up and I've not really been wanting to buy anything to do with makeup obviously in case people have actually used it but like you get a steroid spray and stuff that you could like makeup artists and stuff use so even if it has been used you could always like use that but with Cova and stuff I'm not really wanting to take that risk I'd rather just buy it brand new Is that just me? <laughs> I don't really know if you could tell, like, maybe it's this lighting. Does it look a bit cakey, maybe, on camera? I might put a little bit of blusher on today. Why not? <laughs> Why not? And sometimes I put powder under here, like bake, but I don't do that all the time. I'm not really a fan of baking because sometimes I feel like I can't do it right. Like it always creases. I feel like I've been talking for Britain, going on and repeating myself. Sorry. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with 
what did I say? A blusher. I'm going to get a blusher. What blusher will I use? Let's see if I've got one in my makeup bag. Oh no. See, I don't think I've got one in here because I'm not really... You know what I've forgotten to do? So, like, my eyebrows, I don't even know what happens, right? I've not got thick eyebrows at all. This eyebrow always seems to have a bald spot. Like, it looks like I've shaved it off and I haven't. It just doesn't grow here, like, this bit at all. So, normally I just fill them in. But then, when I fill them in, like, I think it looks really, really dark and scary because my eyelashes aren't that big, like, at all. They don't seem to grow. Like, they grow, like, random bits around here and stuff, but they're not that thick at all. And then when I put pencil on, I'm like, whoa, they're really dark. But it's just to fill in, do you know, these bits here that aren't seem to have any hair on it. I don't know what's happening. Don't ask me, like, really don't know what's happening. But I'll do that in a minute. I think I've done it back to front today. But I'm just going away to get a blush and a makeup box, and I'll be back in one minute. That's me back. <laughs> back again so the one i've taken out my makeup box is l'oreal paris life's a peach and this is like a peachy color like it's not too pinky like clown makeup <laughs> sometimes i feel like i put pink on it like it's like these circles like just doesn't blend out because i put too much on so i'm going to use this brush and just put a lot i think that's why i tend not to reach for a blusher that much because i seem to put far too much of it on and then end up looking like a clown Like, this isn't too dark. I think that's why I like this one. Like, I use this one the most when I do. And then I might put a little bit of highlighter on once I've done my eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, let's get around to doing your eyebrows, Chantel. So, the one I've been using lately is W7 Twist and Shape. So, it's in the shade Blonde, it says. But I think it's, like, it looks lighter when you open the pencil than what it actually does on your eyebrows. Like, I think it looks darker on your eyebrows. So this is what it looks like. It just twists up and down. And then this end, it's like, is it a spoolie? Like, you just brush them. It's not much to brush, <laughs> but you know what I mean. So I'm gonna do this and fill them in. Please don't laugh at me if I look stupid. I picked up a gel, but I've not used that yet. Like, you get a brush with it, it's like a little pot of gel with by the same brand, but I haven't tend to use that yet. I think that one's slightly darker. I just do lines, like, going through it to make it look like... I don't know if you could tell already. Compare this one, like, here, look, to this. little lines so this is it look how dark it looks is it just me but that looks super dark compared to this eyebrow and it's meant to be blonde maybe it's just me as i said i've just recently been buying eyebrow products because when i get my picture took normally you can't see my eyebrows like because i've either got foundation over them and it looks stupid so that's this one, and I'm going to get the wee spoolie and then brush it through to make it more natural, I suppose. <laughs> Do this. Do you think that looks alright? <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same to the next one. I'm hoping it looks alright. Because <laughs> I've got to go out like this. Well, I'll wash it off and start again. <laughs> I think this is the longest I've taken to do my makeup in a while. Normally I just chuck it on and pray it looks good. <laughs> See the faces I do. I'm going to look back and I'm going to be like, what the hell was I thinking? But this is me. Can't change what I am. <laughs> you are what you are. Can't please everybody. I feel 
like this one's thicker. So just me. <laughs> this one. I swear, like, I don't even know what's going to say there. Why can't I never get anything even? To look even. Yeah, it's getting there. Slowly but surely. As I was going to say, I'm not putting my kids on camera because I feel like, like, I'll do things that I bought them and, like, things I do as a mum and stuff, but I'm not going to be putting, like, pictures of my kids on YouTube or do, putting them in my videos because I feel like I want to have some privacy, like, they're not old enough. They're not even old enough for, like, having a Facebook profile picture and you don't know who's out there and it's my hobby, like, it's what I enjoy doing and I don't want them, like, I know there's some stupid, like, spoil it to anybody because they're my kids and I feel like... I like that's my privacy I'm not wanting my kids to be out there like I'll talk about them and going about things like I bought them and stuff and things I do as a parent and that but I'm not going to be putting pictures of them online I don't even have Facebook or anything because I feel as if family members I've got them on WhatsApp if they want pictures of my kids I send them through WhatsApp and stuff I'm not wanting them to put them all over the world for everybody to see like a that is one thing I'm going to say about YouTube. Like, I'm not going to do it. Like, I'm not against anybody who is putting their kids on YouTube, but I personally am not going to do it. Like, me and my partner have spoken. Like, that's one thing I don't want to be doing. So that's my eyebrows done. I'm going to do that with this bit again. I'm going to put my straighteners on so that this video isn't any longer. And they'll be hot by the time I put highlighter and stuff on. And then that should be me. <laughs> so, highlighter, highlighter. Do I even need to put a highlighter on? Maybe, maybe not, maybe. No, I might just leave the highlighter. So, today I'm going to put this lipstick on by L'Oreal. I got that in my L'Oreal lipstick set that my partner bought me for my birthday <laughs> as I keep saying I'm going to put this on it's like a red colour I don't normally wear lipstick unless I'm going out out and I'm really needing to buy like some lip liner like normally I buy the Primark one is it toast but I've not really been going out to Primark in that much with Kova. And they didn't seem to have it in stock. I think everybody's been rushing for the same thing. Oh no. This is where it goes all over my teeth. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. And now I'm going to just do my hair. Probably look like the Joker with like <laughs> lipstick up here by the time I'm finished. So I'm just going to straighten my hair. Whoa. The mean. I'm going to give it a brush, straighten it, and then that should be me all done. So, yeah, I look like I've got like, I don't even know what you call it. Bedhead? Yeah, bedhead. <laughs> I'm really wanting to get like a laptop or something. Like I had a laptop and then I feel like I've been speaking for Britain. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I had a laptop and then it kept, I got one from Curry's and then I've not had much luck. It kept overheating and had to keep repaired, repaired, repaired. And then I got an iPad and then the kids just kept claiming it. So I'm hoping to get either a PC or another laptop to start learning to edit because I don't seem to know how to edit on my phone yet. I'm going to put this in my hair. It's called Crackle Wax Light Control Spray Wax from Wella. Get this out of Sally's. I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand. It's like a spray. You suppose you could spray it on, but I don't like to spray it on. Just put that all in my hair. It keeps it straighter for longer and it protects it. And then I'm just going to straighten my hair. I just spray it worst that could happen <laughs> normally I just put it in my hands and then but you put too much in it feels really like it goes really hard like hairspray but 
So I'm going to just section it off and then strain it. I really, really need to get it cut, but just haven't been bothered I since lockdown. Normally I dye my own roots I because know. I was going to the hairdressers and it was costing like six to eight pounds just to get my roots topped up and then just a toner and then I was like I could do it to everybody else but the only thing that was putting me off doing it to myself was that um you c it's quite hard to see the back of your head and I don't want it to be like all patchy that was the reason why I kept going back to the hairdressers but I since lockdown obviously the hairdressers have been closed and I haven't been able to go so I've just been doing my own roots and ah. putting my own toner on and buying the stuff from Sally's and you know what it actually works out a lot cheaper because um you buy like the bleach powder and the peroxides and stuff and you get more usage out of it like like say you're like 50 quid for all the stuff and then but then you use it like four times and I was normally 65 pounds every six weeks to get my roots done so I was saving there yeah, that's what I've been starting to do and I'm surprised to be fair that I went ginger but then I used silver shampoo as well is it by Swarovski or something? Mom. What is it? One second. I'm sorry this video was so long, but I promise I will learn to edit. At one point. Fully but surely I'm not a computer guru either. Let's give it a quick straighten. My hair's strange, like it goes very dry on the end, right, obviously with the bleach, and then the roots go very oily dead quickly when my roots start coming through. But then I don't like to wash my hair constant, like I try to wash my hair like every three days, but recently with like the sun and that, and like if it's raining, because it has been raining quite a bit, it goes very oily quickly. And I think the rain makes your hair feel very like, is it greasy? Or is it just me? Like, am I the only one? <laughs> Surely not. Oh, this bitch just isn't straightening very well. You know what is? I've not been having my hair done a lot with the sun. I've been actually wearing my hair up a lot. Just because, like, putting sun cream and stuff on, like, I think, like, my hair sticks to it and I don't like that. So I've just been chucking it up in, like, a messy bun. And to be fair, it looks a mess, but <laughs> that's what I've been wearing it like. Oh no, I've got an itchy nose. That's not good. Let's see what it looks like. This side, like, see, because it's been getting put up like it's like this, it's not sitting very well. So this is what. This I could do with a little bit better strain, but hey ho, we'll just leave it like that. Looks not too bad. So this is what it looks like the finishing product. I'm sorry this video took so long, but I will try and edit. It's just getting something to edit on, like. So I'm really going to try and edit. Like I've been looking up stuff how to edit and. I'm really not that good but thank you for watching my video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and as I said again I am not makeup artist this is just what I like to do so please 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 be nice <laughs> so thank you for watching bye